Welcome between these hallowed hedges. Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia, home to the Georgia Bulldogs, where they've had a little chicken, they've had a little drink, and friends, it's time once again to let the big dogs eat. Both teams have been building for this one for a while, and it is here. A top five clash between two powers. As we'll see, the number three team in the country, the Texas Longhorns, taking on the number one team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Georgia likely to kick it deep to get things started. Coming out with it, it's Golden. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. The Longhorns offense will get the first crack at it here. And here he comes just jogging onto the field. But what's going fast, the heart rate of everybody in this crowd, Jesse. Well, this is a special player. All eyes in the stadium on this guy. And David, you know the defense. They're going to have to find a way to try to slow this guy down. And he's going to touch it every single play. He'll be the main focal point. Can he handle the pressure? Can he handle the big moments? Can he handle this stage and lead his team in a big moment? You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. Prime play action. Going for the big play. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Bird Orange burning some secondaries, working this guy down the field. Yeah, and making those big plays down the field. Texas, when you think about great teams, you think about explosive playmakers, making those big plays, keeping those defenses on their heels. Hand off from the gun. Pass the first down marker and still running. And he's brought down after a nice game. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football, be physical, get a big game. And the Longhorns come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll give it to him again. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Out of the gun, the inside kick. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carry. Great job, great field. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intention. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. And they're running out the kicker to give it a try. He says he can kick one from 75, but here he's going to need just 58 of them. That is no good. And guys, after the miss, no change in the score. You can't miss opportunities like that. You're playing on the road in a hostile environment. You're trying to seize momentum right out of the gate. You get a nice drive to start the game, and then you miss the field goal. You don't get any points to show for that. If they're going to win this one, guys, they've got to take advantage of those types of opportunities. The long 58-yard attempt backfires, and now the offense is set up in plus territory around the 41. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot.
Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. The give to the running back from the shotgun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. Feeling some heat. Got it in the middle. It's ETN. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Love the third down call. Throwing the angle route to your back, working one-on-one -on -one against that defender. Easy pitch and catch for the first. Offense lines up for a first and 10 from the 43. The inside handoff. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Got three on first down at second and seven. Caught in the backfield, it's Bell. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Well, that receiver's looking at his teammates like, guys, what's up? You're not going to block for me on the screen? Seriously? I, mean, I just lost yards on a screen play. How does that happen? They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Looking to throw its back. Fires to the wideout. Got him downfield. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, dogs! And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the finisher coming on that 42-yard touchdown toss. Just about set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And here come the horns. They've got it again on offense. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But, Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a high level. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Leaves it with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And just nowhere to go for that runner. He had no choice. That defense, they were bringing it up front. Everybody winning their one-on-ones. They completely had him surrounded. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Looking downfield, it's Ewers. Unloads to the wideout. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? Well, guys, it's Georgia holding the lead at the end of the quarter. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. And the Longhorns have it with a first and ten. On the run, it's Baxter. 
And how about that play by that giant, that mountain of a man on the defensive front? It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run, not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carrier. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. They'll put the tight end in motion. Back to the ground with the running back. They'll pick up five. It'll be third and five. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. From the gun, Gibb on the inside. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. The Longhorns send out the punt unit. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Running it back, it's Evans. He couldn't find much running room there. Didn't get a lot of blocking, and he'll step out of bounds. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So Reese with that drive, I think you... Nothing but green ahead. Pass the 20. Slippery slide. He find his way and ran away from the crowd into the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. When you have so many playmakers on offense like they do, they can score quickly. You just saw it right there. Oh, this is my Georgia best team. Look at this, boy. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I'm not even playing. I'm getting a simulation. I'm getting a simulation. This is my Georgia best team. Miami suck. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Five minutes to taxing on the play. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. There you go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any place in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here comes the Texas offense. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game, so Palmer, no need to pay. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Give to the running back. Navigates that mass of bodies and gets four out to the 17. Just a simple power play. Power football. Be strong. Be big. Be physical. Make it a fourth quarter game. Make them feel you. Keep them off balance. The Longhorns moving quickly to the line. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Got it set up on the outside. Oh, oh, the move is the third. oh, me. oh They me. drag him down, but not before he's moved the chains and the screen pass is effective. Phenomenal play call by the offensive coordinator. You're calling screen passes to take advantage of a good pass rush, and that's exactly what happened. The offensive linemen, they just let those defensive ends run up the field. Quarterback did a perfect job holding on to the ball to the last possible second, getting it out to his running back. And man, that running back had a convoy out ahead of him. Looking for space. It's Baxter. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. 
You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Wide receiver coming across in motion. They'll give it on the counter. Just couldn't get away from the tackle. Great team defense on that one. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D-linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Looking for a man. It's Ewers. What a job to lay out and make the catch. And this junior quarterback shows you why the scouts love that big arm of his. Man, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration, great effort by the receiver. Quickly complete. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Well, the offense trying to attack the perimeter of the field in the passing game. And how about the, the sweet feet by the receiver on that play? Who doesn't like a little dash of the yards with their football? A little ballet moment there. Wants to fire on second down. Catch in the middle. It's Bond. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. That was a nice pickup running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field. You saw that right there. Makes the grab. It's Bond. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pickup, and they'll move the chains with the first down. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback can throw him the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver's staring at the quarterback all the way across the field. That time, the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that first down. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. Touchdown, Longhorn! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. Getting set for the point after. And after the extra point, they've cut the lead in half, down 14-7. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. They've got some time to work with here, Jesse, and if they get a first down, they might really get aggressive. I'd be aggressive right out of the gate. I'd be throwing for a first down. If I get it, then it's pedal to the metal. I'm in that two-minute mode to try to score a touchdown or get a field goal. But I do think this is a situation where you also have to understand that I have the lead going into the half. I've got the momentum, so don't do anything stupid here. Big first down sack for the defense brings up second down.
They'll run it out of the shotgun. And after that short game, they'll head to the locker room. It's halftime here. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, time for everyone inside that stadium in Athens to take a deep breath and kind of digest what we just saw. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. And with that, let's send it back to the fellows between the hedges in Sanford Stadium. <laughs> the Longhorns will kick it off to start the second half. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. They'll open the second half with a run. Keeps the legs moving. That may not look like a huge run, but they'll take it as it gets them up to the 24. Listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy in the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. What could have been set up on a long yard of situation, now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. Really nice, patient job to find some running room by this junior. This is going to be a big key for him, David, with the lead here in the second half, running the football, right? Staying on the field and bleeding the clock. Yeah, run the football, you're ahead, you can be a little bit more conservative. But again, this opens up the pass, this keeps everything in balance for this offense. What did you do? Fast motion from the offense. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. Man, what a great play by that cornerback. There's so much space out here in football, the way they spread you out. But to be able to break on the football when it's thrown and those quick passes like that, nice job by the cornerback. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Looking to pass. It's back. Got his man quickly. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. The Dogs have had a long history of scrappy and efficient quarterbacks. Add a little star power to it, and you've got something working. You definitely get a little extra something, something. We see it all across college football. You find that dude at the quarterback spot. It takes you from good to great, and you've seen that with Georgia over the last several seasons. Throws to the wideout. Finds a man in the middle. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. Man, that quarterback knew that was a tiny window to throw into, and he just showed off his cannon of an arm. The dogs will snap it on first and ten. Looking for room. It's ETN. Sweet beat on the move. At the 20, he's got space. Huge game before he goes out of bounds, and now they've got a first and goal. And how about the big play by this running back? Nice job running with the football, good balance, seeing where he needed to go with the football, finishing the run, he gets knocked out of bounds, but how about this offense set up now on first and goal? And the Bulldogs trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. Snapped it in the shotgun. He caught it! Crisp execution in the passing game, and they've got it down to the three. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy game. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. They'll try to pound their way in. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. 
the line of scrimmage the two and these final two yards might be the toughest here on and he'll take it in touchdown bulldogs and i love the physicality of this offense it's third and goal it's money time i've got to be more physical than you and that's exactly what this offense just did put the ball on the ground and put it in the end zone to attempt the try. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They go 83 yards on the drive and finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. They're lining up to boot it away. the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room and not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So Texas has it again and here comes the offense. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point in the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great. So I know offensively, i got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. Caught behind the line. It's fine. And there's going to be a loss on that play. Just run out of bounds and avoiding the contact. They've got them then deep in their own end. And this crowd trying to help keep them there. On third and long. Hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Snagged in the middle. It's Bolden just keeps moving and they were looking for a chunk play and they got it the explosive picks up more than 30 and i really like when offenses attack over the middle of the field between the linebackers and the safeties there's usually a soft area that you can usually have some success and really nice job by this offense taking advantage of those areas In the backfield, it's Bond. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. We're trying to throw the wide receiver screen to pick up that first down, but the defense just too much speed getting to the ball carrier on that one. And the Longhorns come to the line in the hurry up. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Makes the tackle at the 31. It's a pickup of five on the play. See, they need more runs like that. It's just it's been so few and far between. Defensively, they've been in position. They've been winning their one-on-one -on -one battles, getting off the blocks and rallying to the ball carrier. This defense has done a nice job slowing down the run game thus far. the stop and we played three in this one well guys it's georgia holding the lead at the end of the quarter this has been utter domination through three quarters in the stats will back that up one more period to go and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them and the longhorns have their offense in high gear Looking for room, it's Baxter. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. That back had nowhere to go. The defensive line ate up the blocks. How about the linebacker swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball carry? He had this drive going, but they face a second and 15. Wide receiver shows motion. They'll give it to the back. 
They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. you got to give this defense credit because they have bottled this guy up all game long. He's one of the best running backs in all of college football. Everybody was expecting him to have a big one today. So that's to this defense, though. They've played with great effort. They've gotten hats to the football, and they have been able to shut him down. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. He's got it. And he's brought down after a nice game. Well, trailing like they are right now in the fourth quarter, their execution offensively is just going to have to be at a premium. You can't afford a lot of incompletions at this point. Everybody is going to need to be on the same page moving forward. The Longhorns come to the line with a new set of downs. They're looking for an advantage in the running game to the right. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Right back to him on the ground. Not much running room. He's got one down to the 12. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Off the play fake. He wants it all. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look. They're third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He caught it. He steps out of bounds, but it'll be enough to give them a first and goal. That might seem like a risky call to go for it on fourth down there, but you can't just hand the defense a win in that spot, David. No, and when you go back and you look at games, a lot of times those field goals get you beat. And this offense is like, forget that, we're going to be aggressive. And because they got it, it was a great call. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. And he gets it back to the four-yard line and no farther. Really good job by the defense seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It could happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand, safety's got to see that start flying down, getting ready to play that. Nice job by the defense being ready for that play. They're going to throw it again. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Texas! Late in the game, and the confidence is building. If only there's enough time to finish. Time is ticking, but man, you gave yourself a chance now. Now the defense, go out, do your job. We got the moment. If you give me the ball back, I'm going to win. Let's go, defense. And it looks as if they buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. And they take another look at the play, but the officials on the field were right, and the play will stand. And with the extra point, they're down a touchdown, 21-14. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lane and they'll stop him at the 16. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. Yeah, and a nice job by this defense. This is a critical moment, right? We got to get the football back. They're backed up, thank goodness. Force a punt here, get the football back so we can make some magic here in this fourth quarter. Time is on their side, and they're going to wind that play clock all the way down.
The play action fake. Fires to the wide out. Got his man downfield. And he's down at the 41. That's a first down. I think most offenses around the country in a situation like this with the lead late would be trying to run the football, right? Or throw it short and try to bleed the clock. But this offense, man, it's still pedal to the metal. They're looking for chunk play opportunities. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. Gonna run it. It's ETN. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Now on second down, and we'll probably see another run, and that might do it if they can get a first down. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Ball spotted right at midfield as they try to convert third and short. They'll try to bully their way for the first. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Georgia lining up to punt it away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. That thing was down for a while, but the big bounce carried it into the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. So now the Longhorns take over, and they'll send out the offense. Pocket starts to collapse. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. The defense coming up big there, and the sack is great, but the secondary deserves some credit, too. No doubt. When you can cover like that in the secondary and drop back in your zone and only rush a few, and you feel comfortable getting home, and they're going to get to the quarterback, that is a great feeling, and it's fun to be a defensive coordinator calling the plays. Finds a tight end. They bring him down with a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. So surprised we have not been calling this guy's name more. He's one of the best tight ends in the country, but give the defense credit. They have had an outstanding game plan limiting him so far. That's only his second catch of the game. They'll hurry to the line here to try to get off that third down play. To throw, it's Ewers. Unloads to the wideout. He makes a catch. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Man, this quarterback is going to have to be deadly accurate here in this two-minute situation, right? And that's really what he's had to be all game long. He hasn't had a lot of yards because the coverage has just been so tight. He's had to be pinpoint perfect. It's been hard just to find completions, no doubt. That's going to be the same thing here in this two-minute drill. Throws to the wideout. Grabbed in the middle. It's bolted. They ripped off a big one, and they get it down to the 27. And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are, and they work with their quarterback, and they find them, and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays. Everybody lined up, quickly snapped, and spiked to stop the clock. Brings up second down. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. Man, this late in the game, it's go time. I gotta have a score. I'm not worried about bounds. I'm going through my two-minute script. We know what's coming. We practiced this all week. It's second down, incomplete pass, go to third down. We need to go for and fourth down. This offense just has to keep that high energy up and try to run these plays fast. Fires to the wideout. Gonna throw it to the right. He's got his man. Great job in this two-minute drill as he gets out of bounds, keeping the clock on their side as they're trying to pull it out.
This offense trying to quiet the crowd on first and goal, and they are not cooperating. On the move, it's yours. Let's it go to the end zone. And the pass is caught for a touchdown. And it looks as if we could be headed to overtime. And they desperately needed that touchdown. Now it's miracle time. We got to kick this onside kick and somehow find a way to boot a long field goal and maybe win this thing at the buzzer. Just an extra point away from a tie ball game right before the half. They'll use the timeout six seconds left on the clock. Now this to tie it up, heading to the break. And the extra point was good, and we are all tied up in the fourth. We've got a dandy going here, all tied up in the fourth quarter and about to kick it away. Here's the return from inside his tent. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. On the ground, it's ETN. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Well, guys, let's play some more. Headed to overtime. And this just feels right. Both of these teams going back and forth. So, of course, David, this thing needs to get decided in OT. Let's see who's better. Short amount of time to do it. A couple possessions probably. Maybe one possession each. Who's the better team? All right, guys. So here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And it's so nice to be on defense first, just to set the tone, to understand what you need. Try to hold them to a field goal. The offense knows they can do their job to go out and get a win. Just two possessions, Palmer. Like, you got to be at your best. Yeah, and I love the new rules, too, because in the third overtime possession, it goes to alternating two-point plays back and forth. Who's got anything left in the tank here in OT? Motion from the offense. Trying to get the edge with a quick touch pass. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. The first thing you have to do to make these plays successful offensively is I have to block the edge. I, I got to get my speedster in space. They didn't do a good job of getting that guy out there in space where he could really use his jets. Nice job by the defense understanding it, seeing it, rallying to it, and tackling that guy for a loss. Grabbed behind the line. It's Bond. They make the stop after the catch. And still some work to do to pick up that first down. I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field. But it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. Back to pass, it's yours. And that's incomplete, a defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground, fourth down coming up. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Down by three, it's their turn here in overtime. A touchdown will win it. Here's first down. Red pass, it's complete. I'll tell you, for this defense, they're going to have to find a way to bracket the slot receiver because of how athletic he is. They're going to need to make sure they've got linebackers and DBs surrounding this guy at all times. This offense has a second down play. Movement here from the tight end. 
from the shotgun, the handoff to the back. They make the tackle, but he's got enough to give Georgia a first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. A great spot to start this drive for the offense. They give it to him again. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. How about getting that big play on the ground here in OT? Great job up front by the offensive line. This has been a long, hard-fought physical game, but these guys look like they could play for at least another couple of quarters. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. From the gun, the running back has it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great job at contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened there. Third down here in overtime and some work to do. Dropping back, it's back. He makes a grab. He's in. A game-winning touchdown in overtime. This game must be moving so slowly for this quarterback. He sees everything two or three beats ahead. Way ahead. I mean, it's been, it's been really, really easy. I better get some more hits on him. I better do something to make him feel uncomfortable. Because right now, it's just like, oh, you're running that? Yeah, that's easy. I mean, he's, he's already read your mail. You better change the address and do something different. 